Hey, shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waharuka Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High Power of Israel. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, our Redeemer and Savior, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Christ, and other names. Ruka Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the full understanding of this truth, which is a gift from our Savior, Yahweh Shai. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS, the ones who taught me this truth, which is, uh, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing his gospel in all sincerity in his last days. Shalom also to the few awkward sisters who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yara Yaya Sharala from the GMS Italy camp. And the title of this lesson is going to be This World is an Illusion. Khan, this world is an illusion, man. You know, first and foremost, before I start, you know, I did a lesson yesterday and I posted it on my second channel, which is GMS Italia 2. And the video got taken down. And I have a strike on that channel now. And funny enough, I didn't make mention of buzzwords. You know, I just, maybe it's because of the information, but it's strange because other brothers have been bringing out such informations. So I'm just going to show you what's, what's up. Then I'll, I'll go on with this lesson. I did a lesson on this article, not only this article, there are a couple of them. Also on, um, on BBC News, okay. So you see that thing is out, man. That thing is out. That thing they've been pushing. What the um, Revelation thirteen sixteen tells you, you know, that MOTB. That's it right here. You see. So they're already pushing it on this different, you know, top news outlets, you know, to prepare the people's mind to get them ready for what's up next. You know, they, they actually need to fabricate all this famine and all this, you know, wickedness that's going on in order to, to, to leave you with no choice than to take this. If not, you can't buy or sell. So watch out for this. This is the next step. This is the next thing coming. And now you're going to understand who the true prophets are. Just like the book of Ezekiel, is it 33, 33? Let's quickly get it. So I'm just taking the opportunity to to run over this this lesson that I did yesterday. This is the book of Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter, the 33rd verse. It says, And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. So all these other Hebrew Israelite groups, you know, telling you all things that are different from what it is. Telling you that, you know, the MOTB is something else. The MOTB is not um, the, the grain of rice that's going to be inserted. You know, telling you all kind of different things. Watch out for those people, you know. They've been exposed. So, now get into the lesson, which is illusion. First, I wanted to bring out the, the meaning of illusion. So, you see, illusion, it says an instance of a wrong or misinterpretation misinterpreted perception of a sensory experience says a deceptive appearance or impression and that's exactly what this world that's being pushed this world that we're living that's governed and you know run by the by the wicked of the society which their biblical nationality is esau edom you know this world that we live in is an illusion you know is an illusion most of the things they taught us you know growing up you know going to college getting best grade become become a, a slave for the government you know get as much money as you can so you can enjoy during your 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 what do you call it your pension um you know, all these things, this is not what life is. This is not what the real world is. You know, this is just an illusion to cover up everything. Then they hire all these um, celebrities, so-called celebrities. They hire them, you know, 
to put in your face um, illusions, illusions, you know. This is an illusion. You see the dude standing, you know, <laughs> well, you don't know if he goes down or oh, you see, this is a beautiful illusion. This is what this, this world that Esau, this is what Esau displays to you, man, you know. What he's trying to do is to hide you from the real truth, from the fact of who you are. The so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and the Latinos for the major part. Then you have the rest of the Israelites scattered in all different parts of various countries where they look like those countries where they reside in, you know. He is trying to put an illusion before you and hide you from your promise. Hide, hide, hide you from your real heritage, from who you are. You know, trying to discontinue you from your heritage, man. So, everything you've been taught from beginning, everything you've been showed is an illusion. Now, let's get some scriptures. I have lots of scriptures on deck, but let's see. We're going to start from the book of Romans, the 12th chapter. So I'll read verse 2. It says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. So we're, we're, we're told not to conform to this world. This world actually, you know, it displays everything contrary to what you're meant to know. It displays everything contrary to the will of the Most High Yahweh Shai. This is this this world is brand by Satan, and the word Satan is adversary. You know, so everything that's been pushed in this world goes against the will of the Most High Yahweh Shai. That's why you shouldn't be living in that illusion. Let me see the definition of conform because it says. To comply with rules, standards, or laws. Okay? So, what we do is, you know, we, we, we move by the standards of this world, man. You know, you'll be lost. Because this world tells you that a man can chop off his rod and have a, a vagina. Okay? It tells you a woman can take off her vagina and insert a new rod tells you a man can sleep with another man and a woman can do the same with another woman you know this world pushes all things that are really against life itself so that's why you know what we live is an illusion that's why you have your so-called celebrities you know all around you know pushing all different kinds of damned heresy on you you know, people only think about making that much money and, you know, getting rich as much as possible, you know, living your life, you know, all that BS, man, you know, which, you see, this, the way I say this, this image right here, it's actually a free passage to go through. But you see, that person is going to remain there because there is an illusion there that makes him think he's going to fall but rather that's just an optical illusion he can just go straight you know and continue his path he doesn't want to fall he doesn't want to fall so this world we live in is an illusion man you know we're not meant to conform to this world that's why many are going to be caught on our wares you know all the hell that's coming right now people still think they're in la la land in wonderland you know uh, they don't know what's going on, man. Food prices are going skyrocket, you know. They're, over here in Italy, we have lots of stores beginning to close down because they can't afford the bills, you know. There's not going to, there's not going to be any crop that we're going to harvest this year because, you know, more than a good 85%, if not 90% of, of, um, of the crops were destroyed and you know the 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 world basket which is um we give i think 40 percent of food to the world which is um ukraine and russia you know there is a war going on there so 
people don't really know what's going on because you know they follow the illusion of this place and what, what what's going to what's going to happen to those people that will be caught on our ways you know let's see another scripture right here all on illusion proverbs 14 15 it says The simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his going. The simple-minded jakes, simple-minded people, they believe every dumb thing, the illusion that's been put on the TV. And remember, the media, you know, it's named after a Greek goddess called Medea, you know, which is the goddess of illusion. So if you're not, if you're not, if you're not, if you're not looking at the Bible, which is the word of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. If you're not, if you're not walking according to the words of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you're a lost soul, man. You're a lost soul. And if you're still following that crap of Christianity that has been pushed, which is also an illusion, you know, to 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 deprave you of 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 reaching where you're meant to reach, you know, or if you're following all these, you know, false Hebrew Israelite groups like I U I C S O S B K. And, um, just to name a few, you know, they're not teaching you the true name of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. They're not teaching you the, the words, the laws of the book, according to how it's written, man. Remember what the book of um, Isaiah, the eighth chapter, the twentieth verse says. You know, if they don't speak according to these words, it's because there is no light in them. You know, that's all illusion. If you're not waking up now, calling on the true name of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai walking in humility and praying to the most high the days coming are really critical days you know so as you can see at the beginning i showed you the the article that the motb is right there it's out man you know the grain of rice that's going to be inserted under your skin you know that thing that looks like the grain of rice it's not the actual grain of rice if you're not understanding all these things man you know <laughs> it's the cheap man <laughs> <laughs> well don't let me speak too much on it because the video i posted yesterday was taken down anyway verse 18 says the simple inherit folly but the prudent are crowned with knowledge this world goes after folly you know let me look at the word folly it says i will let it says foolishness you see folly foolishness that's what the world goes after man you know they'll be doing all this crazy um what do you call it challenges on tiktok challenges on instagram challenges on facebook all that madness you know stupidity man the 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 the, the, the all be, 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 be running all after after you know be running after this this um the, the prettiest cars the, the 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 fancy things you know rap and all that thing you know the hip-hop community is an illusion man it's all to keep you dumbed down man now i'm not saying listening to music is evil i listen to music myself but when it starts controlling you when it's, once it starts becoming a priority a lifestyle to you then man you should wake up to reality man you know Let's get the book of, um, let me get first John, first John, there is also a beautiful one in the book of John, but let's get first John 2, 5 or 2, 15. And this is the book of first John chapter two, verse 15. It says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father, Yahweh Shem Shai, is not in him. So you see, <laughs> love not the world. It's plain right there, man. If any man loves the world, that man has not the love of the Most High, Yahweh Shem Shai, which is true, man. You know? Because just like I said at the beginning, this world goes a totally opposite direction from the most high yahweh shimmy and you don't want to be in that bus man 
because guess what destruction is coming for all those people that subscribed and paid to get into that bus you know you pay with your soul you pay with your time you know you're living an illusion man illusion illusion you live in an illusion and that illusion goes way down deep you're never getting down it's it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's an endless deepness <laughs> how do i put it you know you keep falling but you never touch the ground that's what that illusion is you keep sinking into the cosmos man you know that's what that illusion is you know so it says for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes, the pride of life is not of the Father, Yahweh Hashem Shai, but is of the world. You know? And that's, that's everything that this world pushes, man. You know? The lust of the flesh, you know, that's why people are going around to get plastic surgeries, you know, trying to look good and all that, you know. I have some real... I have a video someone posted, you know, about this. I don't know if she's a model or something, you know. She had this um, implant silicone in her breast and the thing exploded, man. <laughs> you know, people go after, you know, what they see, you know, lost of the eyes, the pretty Lamborghini, you know, you know, everything looks sweet, you know mansions and all that you know so they don't want the kingdom of heaven to come you know this is what they want and it says pride you know which this world this world teaches you to be the best version of yourself you know to be the god yourself you know oh i'm the man i'm this i'm that swag all that thing you know pride which in this walk of ours we're meant to be humble because man we're nothing man we're lesser than a worm before the most high yahweh shim shai if the most high wills psh, it takes your life any time any downtime you want you know so why why the pride we're meant to be humble praying for for for, for forgiveness and praying for protection in the days to come and the elder apostles of Great Millstone, starting from the elder apostle Taha, have been teaching about this day, man. The time of Jacob's trouble. They've been called different names. They've been trolled, you know. They've, they've been insulted. They've gone through all different kinds of things. And it's funny how certain false Hebrew Israelite groups that are telling you that there is no time of Jacob's trouble, you know, all of a sudden they start teaching this, this, this doctrine, you know. That's because they get into CD, the writing on the wall. Just like I said, like I read earlier in the book of Ezekiel 33, 33, it says, And when this thing shall come to pass, for lo, they must come to pass, then shall they know there had been prophets among them. You know? And you see, verse 17 says, The world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the most high Yahweh Shemiah Shai abideth forever. Can. This world passes away. Everything goes away. Everything falls. And what, what, what kind of men are we supposed to be? That's the second book of Peter. I'm not really sure. Please just, just bear with me. I can't remember. Okay, let me see. Um, so dissolved what's that word oh let me see if I can find it Khan. This is the book of Second Peter, the third chapter. I'll read from verse 10. It says, But the day of Yahweh Shemiah Shai will come as a thief in the night, 
in the which the heavens shall pass away like a, with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up and in that day <laughs> all your so-called celebrities they'll be <laughs> they'll all be screaming for help just like you <laughs> so you'll all be found helpless man because you've chosen to leave the illusion oh we're going to build a new world order we're going to do this a new world uh, a green world for everybody this or all that crap man it's all an illusion it says seeing that all these things shall be dissolved what manner of persons ought he to be in all holy conversation and godliness says looking for an hastening unto the coming of the day of the most high yahweh shimei shai wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with favor and eat and what's going to do this the nuclear weapons the nuclear bombs man they're going to destroy everything so what manner of men are you supposed to be wake your punk ass up from the matrix man wake up from the illusion that they put before you before it's too late you know let me quickly get the book of john i had a couple more scriptures i don't want to make this lesson too long um 20th chapter and 27th verse it says can well this is a point no i wouldn't bring out this point now i'll just save it i might use it for another video because you know speaking about speaking about those in this truth because there are certain people in this truth you know who also lack what they call faith you know and faith is very important you should go read the book of hebrew one you know true faith you can receive every damn thing everything man you know faith is very important if you don't have faith which means you're one leg into the illusion okay so it, it makes you it makes you no different from those who are living an illusion you know just like some hebrew israelites they've been saying that you know miracles are not biblical you know that's witchcraft and all that thing you know but we according to the faith that we've been given the portion of faith that's been given to us we, we strongly believe that you know we shall receive powers in those days that are coming you know we don't really need to see things before we, we, we believe because what's faith faith is the evidence of things let me get it um, real quick the book of hebrew one is it oh excuse me is it hebrew or romance no faith oh sorry it's hebrews I believe chapter 11 not one it says now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen okay so that's what faith is you know you don't want to we don't want to be like thomas okay who had to so i read then 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 said he unto thomas that's your how shy he says reach hither thy finger and behold my hand and reach hither thy hand and trust it into my side and be not faithless but believing and thomas answered and said unto him my lord my power yahweh shai said unto him thomas because thou hast seen thou hast believed blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed so we don't really want to be like like thomas who never believed until he saw and touched in which you know this world everything is just based on the sin you know and that sin can be tweaked man <laughs> it can become an illusion so you see why you don't want to be caught up in illusion they might put something before you that's not really it you know so you want to believe even without seeing you want to have that inner sight hey i can take this lesson a little longer but i think it's good keeping it short lots of lessons coming out from various brothers brothers so this is for you that you're yet to decide you know you're new to this thing 
wake up from the illusion because this world is an illusion it has nothing to offer so hopefully this lesson was edifying through the spirit and power of the most high yahweh shimmy shai on to the next one shalom